stops. Sorry. <laughs> so if you do that again, we'll be stopping it. Big one round. Okay. And brake. Yep. And round. Oh, nice play. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Wow. Anyone who watches us and our buddies over at Outside Xbox knows that our pal Mike really likes his cars. So, when we were offered a driving experience day at Silverstone like no other, he jumped at the chance. Not only did he get to try out the new Gran Turismo and train his reaction times, but he was offered up a challenge that not even driving the Nissan GTR Nismo around the world-famous track could prepare him for. So, I've been playing Gran Turismo games for a very, very long time with a PlayStation controller. Um, and in honour of GT Sports release, GT and Nissan have put together a remote control Nissan GTR. So this is about £100,000 worth of car and they're going to entrust me with a PlayStation controller to drive it on an actual circuit. And there are people here that could be killed. There's about, you know, a ton of Northamptonshire countryside out there that I could disappear off into. So, um, yeah, the stakes are fairly high. Um, I'm sort of terrified. I'll be chasing the car in the car behind. Uh, and trying to get my head around steering it around the circuit and then doing some precision parking as well which I, I'm not looking forward to. I'm not so great at that in my own car so uh, I don't know how I'm going to fare with a PlayStation controller and from a distance. So let's see how we get on. So um, there's a PlayStation controller. Yeah I'm used to these, not in this context. But Brakes are on the left, throttles on the right. Mm -hmm. On the triggers. Uh, trigger, two, number two buttons. So the important thing to remember is when you're changing gear, hold the brakes on because otherwise it's an automatic, it'll creep forwards or backwards. Okay. I feel like just it's something I'm so used to, this controller, and now it feels like just a, almost like a deadly weapon or something. <laughs> okay, so if you can um, just hold the brakes on the left hand finger. Yeah. If you press forwards on the D pad, up on the yeah. D pad, now reverse on the D pad. Yep. You said you come in reverse, now choose forwards. Okay. Now we know it's in forwards. You only have good, to do always, so always you, good. So um, I suggest if you come off the brakes, yep. a dab of gas, then feel for the steering as we go into the first corner. Oh gosh, oh this is the weirdest, weirdest experience. Oh my. Sit. This is bizarre. Okay, it's the cones. Yep. Left oh the gosh. Yep, sorry. A little bit of dynamic driving there. Okay, go left here around the high pin. Yeah, left. Hard left. Keep on left. Oh, sorry. They're quite good brakes. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Hard left. Back up onto the straight where you started. Okay. All okay. good. What I suggest is try and get in a steady lap. So roll, yep. just nail it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so if you do that again, we'll be stopping it. Sorry, yeah, that was a little bit too. Uh, yeah, just just get from. a feel for it so you sort of, we've got confidence you've got control. Yeah, yeah. And away from the the cones and then hard on the brakes. Left. Yeah, I'm sorry. What you'll find is, almost yeah. as you get the brakes lights on, you come off the brakes because you've actually done enough braking. Right, okay. This is just surreal. So try and get in a smooth lap. That's nice. Don't turn in. Oh, a bit too sharp in. Yeah. He does it. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. and then ease out. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, lift off. Yeah. And turn in. Let's have one more because you're getting that breaking point. Yeah. Just, yeah, very, very strange experience. Big one round. Okay, and brake. Yep, and round. Oh, nice play. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's good. That'll do well. Awesome. Wow. Okay, as you get to the bottom, after the left, there's yeah. two blue cones. Okay. And thread the needle between them. So go gently. Yeah. Going gently, sorry, too thread, much, too gently. <laughs> thread the needle straight ahead of you, okay. yep. now. and then hard left after them. Okay, hard left. Hard left now. Okay, let's have one more lap, we'll do that again. Okay. Okay, let's have the blue one nice and controlled. Uh, yep, yeah. okay, bit of brakes, off the brakes. Nice. Through there. Gently, remember Thread the, the needle, oh yeah, and then hard left. You want to slow down. There you go. You missed the grass. Yep, yeah, stayed off it. <laughs> Stop between Stop the blues. Between the Stop between the blues, got it. We've got to get you to reverse park so hold the brakes on. into the box there. So can you drive forward? Yeah, give it a little, oh gosh. Let's give it a bit of, bit of this. We should be seeing the side profile yeah. only of the nice car. Job. Okay. Okay. 
So hold it on the brakes. Yeah, holding select, on. Select reverse. Watch for the reversing lights. Here they are. Okay, and then. <laughs> You're not a million miles off. Yeah, keep going. Come on, come on, buddy. A little bit more. Yeah, definitely more. A little bit more that way. A little bit yeah, more that keep, way. Hold it down. Hold it down. Yeah. Oh, a bit more. Come on, stay away from that. Now straighten up. Hard left now, straighten up, Ricky. Just about make it. Oh, oh, oh nearly. I was wrong. I was wrong. Sorry. Let's go a bit, little bit, creep a bit forward. And then reverse. Yeah? Yeah. That way? Yeah. Bit on the brakes. Bit of reverse park. Come on. Perfect. That's Nilled. That'll do. Nice job. That's awesome. It's in. There you go. It's in blue. Thank you so much, guys. Holding Thanks for well entrusting done. me with your very expensive car. That was <laughs> absolutely bonkers. And thank you for doing the driving. Wow, that was that was surreal. I mean, I've been using PlayStation controllers for Forever decades. Yeah. yeah, and that is the just it just felt completely alien to me. It's never been attached to a hundred thousand pound before. No, <laughs> no, no. That was without a doubt, one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had. For starters, this is an extremely powerful car and I had so much power on, in that much trigger travel, uh, which was, you know, just getting the balance right and getting a kind of smooth line through the corner was really, really difficult. Again, a steering wheel gives you tons and tons of degrees of lock. I had it all in a thumbstick and, you know, although I'm used to playing racing games, um, I'm also used to playing racing games from a fixed perspective, whereas in the Qashqai behind, we were kind of following at sort of a decent pace. The driver was doing an amazing job, but there's no way he could anticipate what I was doing. Um, so you sort of have to switch off your body's senses and sensations of your own movement and just focus on what the car in front's doing. Uh, and then the parking thing was hilarious. Grabbing the controller, it just felt like really dangerous. Like I've never felt like that with a video game controller in my hand. I've had a lot of video game controllers in my hand over the years. But it, yeah, just uh, my mind's been somewhat blown by how it, it felt to be completely detached, but controlling an actual like almost well, a ton of metal, basically uh, full of robots, really expensive metal, really expensive robots. But yeah, I think I will stick to the video game where it's impossible for me to wreck a very, very expensive Nissan GTR.